it's a gorgeous weather. I can I can wear a hoodie and I'm not freezing. It's actually really warm here. I'm I'm it's so weird. Now the forest it's all green. Just a moment ago it was all white. Green stuff. Oh, hello. It needs to pee. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, privacy. Even the blueberries are starting to make new leaves. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm not sure if you can really see. Excuse me, lady. Excuse me. Excuse me. No <laughs> need. There is still some snow. Um, I'll go to the north side of the tiny hill and show you. Okay, I take that back. Yesterday it was a lot bigger. That's super tiny snow pile, damn it. I think this is my last day to be able to film ice before it completely disappears. Oh man. Okay, look at this one. There's another pile of snow. <laughs> it's tiny. I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, the ice is almost see-through. It's dark blue, watercolored. From a bit further away, it probably means it's gonna break apart or whatever it does um, very soon. But it's also really pretty. Like the color is awesome. I didn't realize it would be this windy. Didn't feel windy at all when I left, but it's really windy. Also, the wind is really cold because it's coming from the lake. Icy wind. Man, it looks so cool. The ice is kind of just... It's not steam, it's just uh, evaporating away. You can see that really happening, so it's kind of cool. It was too windy to go very high up, 25 meters, 30 meters, that's it. It's, it's a shame because I wanted to get a proper kind of like far away shot, but that's fine. It's fine. Um, I might try another day if there's still some ice left. Um, I could hear the ice kind of crackling. I saw these tiny pieces come up from a bit bigger um, ice thing and and too bad I didn't have my camera immediately there. It, it was also funny, it's quite warm outside, like 15 celsius degrees. Um, the wind was warm a bit further like away from the lake but by the lake when it was windy from the lake direction it was absolutely freezing which now makes sense because I mean it's ice obviously it's freezing um, but when the wind 
came from some other direction, like not from the eyes. It was so warm. It was so weird because you get this wind, um, wind hitting you and it's like one is freezing and one is warm and that was really confusing. The difference was so big. So I decided to take a day trip to my aunt's cabin. Um, we're here actually alone, my aunt is not here. I just took Sylvie with me today and um, let me show you her. She's so nicely there. Hello baby, do you want to come out? Do you want to come out? Papa! Sylvie! Mihin sä oot menossa? Ei me olla sinne menossa. hear that sound of water and just wind birds so yeah I came here with Sylvi only today and we'll be going back home later today so it, it won't be a long visit um, I also realized I didn't take any food with me <laughs> but um, there were some fruits and stuff there so I'm, I'm gonna eat bananas and stuff so I don't need to go home immediately I did eat before we left but but still uh, <laughs> should have thought a bit better I, I wish it was possible for me to live a life somewhere a bit further away like like this and just keep my dogs free and or have a yard where to keep them even if there's a fence and just uh, enjoy life man it is extremely freeing to hear the water and see the water again after a long winter it just it just makes me feel so good I, I love winter but I also love summer and hearing the water is it makes so much difference in just the whole scheme of things on winter you don't hear the water moving and living if, if that makes sense although there is other kinds of beauty during the winter but but the summer the water is essential for me I've spent a lot of my childhood summers here at this cabin and I've grown very fond of having water around me and it just uh, it makes me feel extremely good she's eating something just a moment Yata. I think she found a dead bird that's disgusting I, I'll, I'll need to take care of that well Oh man, that was sad. So I, I even thought... I even thought Sylvie had killed a baby bird. But um, I went to check where she found the tiny baby bird. Um, there, there were several birds on the ground dead. Like baby birds. That's 
just sad. Uh, apparently they made a nest to the tree and it probably fell down. I just put something in front of that now so Sylvie won't go get them um, anymore. That was disgusting. I, I threw one of them in the in the forest so probably a fox or something will will get get that and possibly the other ones too and if not uh, they'll be lifted in the compost for things. That's just nature I guess. Sylvie's so happy to just roam free and check things out and she stays very close to me so that's not a problem that she would disappear. My aunt told me there are muffins in the in the freezer so I defrosted one. Mm. I have coffee also. This is my coffee cup here. <laughs> oh. It is a bit chilly now that it's um, now that the sun is behind the clouds, but I do have a cold in in the car, so I can always get that if it gets too cold. But oh man, I I just interested in here looking at nature and I don't know it's just I wish I could spend more time here and in nature in general I think now that I'm free um, I'm going to balance my life a bit more um, with the work music time just for myself and dogs. Um, it's been ages since I was only working or studying. It's always been both and the worst case has been studying plus three jobs. It hasn't been always that easy for me but now that I'm taking a year to just concentrate on my music and my work um, I feel sort of relieved that I can just make my own schedule and take time for this. It's just, uh, it makes me so happy. When I'm only working for myself, uh, it's, it's always a bit hard figuring out what to do, when to do, um, how to make your schedule. That is probably going to be the hardest thing for me. But I believe it will get easier after I get used to that kind of schedule and just that. It's interesting to see how, how things work out. And I'm really excited to just take this step and concentrate on my music and my journey as a musician completely and find inspiration in places I haven't been able to go to because of studies and the work. I, I hope you also enjoy the... to just... the journey that I will share with you. I... I'm quite excited. Mm -hmm.